Hi, and welcome back to PSC Stack Byte. Today, we will talk about how to send an email message uh, using the Microsoft Graph uh, within the SharePoint framework. First of all, you need to know that there is a send mail action, which is available for the me endpoint, as well as for any other user principal in the collection of users uh, in a tenant, as long as you have uh, uh, the delegation to send email uh, on behalf uh, of that specific user. When you send an email uh, using the send mail action, you need to have the mail.send permission granted uh, to your principal. And if we are talking about the SharePoint framework, uh, you will need to have uh, that permission grant uh, for the service principal used uh, by SharePoint framework when consuming the Microsoft Graph. When you will send an email message and it will be successful, you will get back a 202 uh, response from the graph. And in order to use it in SPFX, uh, you can simply leverage the uh, MS Graph client type, which has been uh, released by Microsoft under preview since version 1.4.1 of the SharePoint framework. So let's move to the demo environment and let's see how to do that in practice. So here we are in the SharePoint framework client side web part, uh, which is based on the React uh, framework. And in the render method of this uh, web part, uh, we simply create an instance of a send mail uh, React component and we provide the context of SharePoint framework as an input property for the target uh, uh, React component. The React component accepts the SPFX context property of type web part context through the I send mail props uh, interface. And inside the implementation of the TSX uh, React component, uh, we simply render a primary button taken from the Office UI fabric uh, in order to fire a send mail function, which will do the real stuff uh, for sending the email message. In the send mail uh, function, we first of all create uh, a type, uh, an instance of an object, uh, which represent the email message we want to send. I have an email message type, which I define here, and which declares uh, the structure, the outline of a mail message from a Microsoft Graph perspective. As you can see, these are just some of the properties that you can provide uh, for a message uh, to send with the Microsoft Graph. And you have the subject, the body with the content type and the content, uh, the recipients and the CC recipients, as well as the importance of the email. As well as you can select to save uh, to the sent items uh, the email message that you are going to send. Moreover, the recipients and the CC recipients have a shared structure based on a collection of email, oops, of an email addresses made uh, on an, on, uh, of an address. So, in the send mail function, we simply create an instance of a message that I'm going to send to my own uh, email uh, addresses with I importance, and I will save it in the save to send items. Then I create an instance of the MS Graph client type, uh, which can be created using the context of the SharePoint framework, using the service scope, uh, and asking to consume the MS Graph client uh, service key. Once you've done that, you will get back an instance of this type, uh, which can be used to target your API, which is me slash send mail in my scenario, for version 1.0 of the Microsoft Graph, uh, and I will make a post request, an HTTP post request targeting this uh, API, and providing the mail message, which will be serialized in JSON and sent uh, to the Microsoft Graph, uh, becoming the email message that will be sent uh, to the target email addresses. So, I already have uh, the uh, gulp serve uh, command running uh, in my integrated terminal window, as you can see right here in the lower part of my screen, uh, and I can uh, switch to the browser in the workbench uh, in which I have uh, an instance of the web part uh, already loaded. If I click on the send mail button, I will simply fire a request uh, to the target uh, Microsoft Graph, uh, and I will send uh, an email message to the target users. If we go to the network panel, we can see that somewhere here we will have the send mail request. Here it is. We have the send mail for the me user, and we have the token and whatever else, and the message with all the information we defined in the uh, TypeScript source code of our web part. And in fact, if I open my inbox, here you can see this is the email message I just got with HTML format inside of the body, 
with the specific subject uh, and with the target recipient and CC recipient. So that's pretty easy. However, in order to be able to do that, uh, you need to have uh, proper permissions granted uh, for the uh, tenant service principle of the Microsoft Graph. So you need to go to the uh, modern uh, admin UI of uh, SharePoint Online uh, under the advanced API management uh, interface uh, and there you will have uh, the list of approved uh, uh, permission grants uh, for example for the Microsoft Graph and here it is uh, and those are the permission uh, approved for the graph. In order to better see them you can also use uh, the PMP uh, PowerShell command let. You can connect to your target tenant uh, and you can get uh, the list of permission grants uh, that you have uh, for the service principle of SharePoint framework in your tenant. And as you can see here for the Microsoft Graph, uh, we have those permissions which include the mail.send permission. In order to add the permission, you can simply use again the PMP PowerShell command let, and there is one called the grant PMP tenant service principle permission, which can be used to uh, provide that permission scope uh, to uh, access a specific resource, which is the Microsoft Graph, uh, just using PowerShell. Another option that you have uh, is to use the configuration file of your solution, and under the package solution, you can specify uh, the permission request that you need uh, in order to access the API you want to target. If you will use uh, the uh, JSON config file, when you will deploy your solution package uh, uh, into the app catalog of your tenant, uh, you will be requested to go to the admin UI, to the modern admin UI of SharePoint. You will see the permission requested in the pending approvals and you will be able to select it and approve it if you like or reject it if you don't like to grant that permission. So. Just to recap, you need the mail.send permission, you need to use the graph client, MS Graph client instance, targeting the specific API you want to consume, the specific version of the graph, and you will have to provide a mail message object, which has to be the struct with the structure that you see here, and which is well defined on the online documentation of the Microsoft Graph. And that's it. Have fun. As usual, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful and I'm looking forward to seeing you next week. Thank you.